Good morning. We got a chilly one out there. It's nine degrees above zero, so not terrible. I had a late dinner last night, so I'm gonna do a late breakfast today. I'm just gonna have coffee for first breakfast and second breakfast might be a regular one. We'll see. I'm fishing really tight to base camp today, so I can cook whenever I want and enjoy my base camp today in the wind and in the cold. But fishing for big pike today. I might have some visitors coming in from Reboot Outdoors with Danny and the crew, which will be fun to fish with those guys if they come in. It's one of my out, absolute favorite outdoor veteran organizations. So you'll see why. If you haven't seen them in the past, you'll see why if they come in today. Just, just a great group of characters and awesome fishermen and a lot of fun. And Danny, Danny and crew are just doing a great job for veterans, getting them back out on the water, getting them reintegrated and just uh, and doing some wonderful things for them. So if you guys are looking for an organization, organization to support, definitely give Reboot Outdoors Maine a look. But I got the percolator going right there. It hasn't started to perk yet. I'd like to drive a little bit of coffee in me before I head out there and brave the cold and get those uh, traps set. Because once you get out there, you never know how long you're going to be out there. You think it's going to be 20 minutes to set your traps, and then all of a sudden you get a flag, then another flag, then another flag, and you might be out there all day. Slept pretty good last night. I was extremely tired from running around and fishing in the wind. Ice fishing takes a lot out of you in general, just being outside all day when you're when you're not in a big wheelhouse or a shack or something. And then when you add 40 mile an hour winds to it, it really just knocks you out. My face still feels pretty wind burned. I'm a little bit concerned about that. I left the stove running all night at about, oh, probably half speed on both burners. And it was about 43 degrees in here and eight or nine degrees outside. So I don't know if that tells you anything or not, but she does burn through some propane. As soon as she starts to perk like that, you want to take your heat down to just about nothing. Just to keep it perking, so that way you don't boil over and blow it over and get all the grinds in your coffee. If you're not familiar with the percolator, guys, it's boiling the water underneath. The grinds are all in a cup up top here with holes in it, it's perforated. Boils the water, it goes up a pipe, and then it spills out the top and lands on top of the grinds and then slowly drips through back into the bottom so it's circulating, circulating, circulating. So you wanna, you wanna percolate for about, oh, five, maybe even 10 minutes if you want extra strong coffee and give that a chance to have all the water go up through and go through the grinds and soak through the grinds. It's all about gravity with a percolator and heat. Do a little halfy so she cools down quick. One of the quickest ways to cool it down is blow on it or put a couple pieces of metal in there to wick some of that heat out and it also does the dishes too and cleans up your utensils. Adds a little taste to your coffee. These pike don't feed every day when you're talking like the big pike so you got to kind of hit your windows. I know they fed not yesterday, but the day before. I don't know what they did yesterday, so I'm hoping today's a feeding day and we get a couple of these big pigs topside for you, show you what a giant pike looks like. I'll show you how I fish them. I think I'm fishing all dead bait today. I don't know if any of my bait's still alive. I doubt it. I did vacuum seal some bait when it died. It'll still be semi-fresh. I don't know if that matters or if you want it stinky. I don't really fish a lot of dead bait, but at least it's not frozen solid. So I got some in the cooler that died, you know, while it was swimming. So that won't be frozen either. So I can pick and choose my sizes. But I'm going to get dressed and get ready for the day and poke a couple holes out there and get a couple sets in before breakfast.
with no wind the temperature's not bad even in the single digits it's not really bad out there at all i might not even bring my jacket but in case the wind starts blowing it's probably not a bad idea to have my jacket handy so. there it is there i'm wearing pretty lightweight stuff today Let's go make some pike sets. Be out there for the sunrise. Oh, I got my thermos right there. I might as well fill that up. She's perked enough. saved get that last swill and get out there before the sun rises we're good I feel a breeze Never gets old. Absolutely love that. My bait's all dead, which is totally fine for pike fishing. So let's get it set up. Only thing I gotta make sure is if I have a sounder. None in that bucket. Yeah, we don't. Yeah, we got a sound there. Okay, we're good to go. All right, since we're not running any live bait today, we don't need our rubber bands. Our big bait band, so we're just gonna set this and on to the next one. Pretty easy set. Any flags today? You know the bait didn't trip them. Good to go, on to the next one. That's a smasher of a bait right there. It's bigger than my hand. <laughs> I step on them to get the air out of them. Make sure the air bladders are empty so it doesn't float and it it sits the right way in the water column. Getting a little extra guts out there is not a bad idea either. It's amazing how warm eight degrees can be when there's no wind. I'd take 25, 30 below with no wind over 20 above with the wind we had yesterday. And that should sink like a rock. I'll show you guys the air sack. That's an air sack right there. It's a double. It's actually filled up with air right now like a balloon, as you can see. And you get that out or you pop it and your bait's, your dead bait's gonna sink fast. It's really important to get that out. Then your bait's not laying crooked and trying to float up off the bottom and be upside down as well. Unless that's what you're looking for.
All right, that's five flags, five traps set. I've had better spreads, but I've had worse spreads too. So we'll see how they do. I got confidence in, in them. And if I don't, I'll just move them. That's the cool thing about fishing. It's just like taking a new cast to a new area. Not sure where the boys are. They're running a little late, but it's uh, it's a challenge getting in here. So you never know, there could be trees down, long snowmobile ride, long, long ride on the side by side if they're taking that. Oh, I hear talking. That might be the Vermont boys. Be into me and enjoy the morning. This is unbelievable having no wind after after the last three days. It's hard to believe this is the coldest it's been because I feel wonderful. I feel pretty darn good in this temp. We'll hammer some coffee and play the old waiting game. The cool thing is if I pull one of them traps, then I could, uh, then I could jig for rock bass and crappie and anything else. Oh, I friggin' love fishing, guys. This year I haven't done much trap fishing yet. I've been doing a lot of jigging, a lot of pan fishing with a live scope, and the best way to catch pan fish is with a jig rod and chase them down with electronics. And been working really hard at that and honing my skills and getting better and fishing in that nationwide or international tournament really helped drive me. And I got to the point where I'm pretty confident now in my skills with that. And it's just a lot of fun setting traps too and waiting for that flag to go up. And then when it goes up, you, you get over and you see if that reel's spooling or not. And sometimes she's making power, sometimes she's churning butter, sometimes she's just sitting still and you've got to set the hook and it's hand-to-hand -hand combat with that fish. And a lot of times they're as big as your leg. But it sounds like uh, there's some activity going on in the cove. I might go check that out. I think it's the boys from Vermont. I could make their morning search a lot easier if, a, if they're looking for that big school, I could put them right on it. You guys are kind of crowding me, aren't you? <laughs> I was gonna come over and shorten your search for the school, but you guys are pretty well on it. Did you did you look? Yeah. yeah. Is there a million? There's a few. Yeah. They're, they were. Uh, not the big pod, though. What's that? Not the huge pod. That's a few acres. Oh, it's not. They were. Um, oh, they were. They were right over there the other day for a hundred. Last yeah. year we found them all the way back in there. Too. So there's there's two mega schools in there off that rock shallower. Yeah. yeah. This deep school's got a billion in it. They're right. Uh, they're a little bit this way, but unless they move. Big out there. Yeah, oh, the perch. Nice. Yeah, there's some decent. There's a good school of perch in here. They feed a little bit later, like really we good. Found perch in here. Oh yeah. yeah. We got a few. We got. You'll get some whites mixed in. There's a school. Uh, who's after perch? I'll show you where the perch are. This is the perch guy right here. I'll show you where that school of perch is. I got on a school the other day and my buddy and I got tired of catching them. Oh, by the them. lake or in here? In, in here. By the main river? In here? Yeah, oh, yeah, in here. Yeah, I might hit you up on that. <laughs> we, we, we literally got tired of keeping them. They were setting off our jack traps with shiners that big. Really? Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, and then, the so we, the well, to defend the trap, we we jigged next to it, right. and it was just the same. Yeah, but I tried to hit them the next day, like I set up the next morning on them, and Dave, <coughs> and no activity on them. Yeah, are you are you seeing anything on your live scope like a hundred, hundred and twenty? Yeah, that's yeah. That's yeah. That's, yeah, that's where I was trying to show you that that school over there. You got me something. I don't need anything. You're the first one other than Mike Black. This is my son, my oldest son, Mike Black. Yeah, how you doing? <laughs> you, you guys are twins. <laughs> <laughs> you get a pair of glasses on and let somebody punch you in the nose, you'd look just like him. Right? There you go. Oh, jeez, what did I do with it? Did it fall out? Oh, here, I got it. Hold on. 
Oh, here it is. <laughs> First one ever given to the no public. No way, really? Oh, look at that. That is sick. Holy crap. Yeah. First one ever given to anybody. That under, is I think I gave awesome. my son one. That's the only one. That's that cool. is freaking awesome. Operation Reboot Outdoors. Jim's going to get jealous. But Jim, we got one at the house for you. Don't Look worry. Look at how awesome that is. So, pretty bad. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. Good to see you, buddy. Set up wherever you guys want. Yeah, don't don't even worry about them traps. I don't even know if they're in the right spot. <laughs> we're we're going to take them out of the water. <laughs> yeah, don't even, don't even worry about them traps. He's in the big, he's in the big pike hole. Yeah, don't even worry about them. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, where did Mike catch them the other day? <laughs> yeah, where did Mike get them the other day? All right, guys, reboot's here. Pretty pumped about that. Danny's one of my absolute favorite guys to fish with. Awesome energy, just awesome fisherman. Knows how to catch them. So those guys are those guys are here. We're gonna fish together for biggins. I'm gonna go check on the guys from Vermont, see what they're catching, and uh, I'm gonna cook a finish cooking a late breakfast. Nice. We don't know how those big ones were because Jim lost scale, so we had to do measuring. And then he tried telling me the 30, he, they argued with me, they were yelling. And I'm like, that's 39 inches long. They're like, no, it's not. It's 34, Jim was saying. I'm like, oh. Jim, that's 39 inches long. Put a skate. He goes, put a tape on it. Exactly, it's 39. I'm like, I don't, don't ever he, tell me again, I don't know Jim. why he argues with you, man. <laughs> it's year after year. He's always arguing with you, and you're always right. Had it over the hole, and I just All right, I'm doing a late breakfast. Super late breakfast today. I got it, uh burning in the pan the guy showed up right when i was about to do a couple eggs but i'm gonna get a couple eggs cooked up Well there, we're gonna eat breakfast outside today and we're gonna watch Jeff set up some traps and go over and as soon as I drive this into me, if Danny and Mike and, and the guys are still setting up over there, we'll go over there and <coughs> help them get set up for pike on the inside. It's pretty darn good this morning. Guys, I'm really pumped for you to meet Danny. Uh, those, that, some of the newer viewers haven't met Reboot or Danny yet, and uh, I'll let him tell you all about the organization. But some of you other viewers who've been around for a long time have seen him several times, and he's just awesome, awesome character, and he's doing such a great thing with his life and with the organization. Really proud of him. Proud to call him a friend. Proud that I know him and and um, all, always happy to fish with him. I didn't think you were going to make it. <laughs> We've been invaded by the country of Vermont. Yeah, the, the whole state's here. The, the whole state, state is here. Did you make it? I made it, yeah. You came the secret passageway I, this time. I used the secret passageway. <laughs> right. I, I was tempted. <laughs> I'm, I'm still tempted to go <laughs> back. 
Yeah, he brought yeah, his, baby. yeah, my grandson came down with, with my son and you know how it goes when there's a kid around, everybody wants oh, a kid yeah. to take traps. So he got spoiled all day. And then the vet yeah, that we came had, to farm. No, fully, we had six on one of my traps. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Oh, yeah, geez, one of my six? traps. One of my traps was popping yeah, all day long. He, oh. Joe, Joe missed the. Hey, Joe just missed that hole with his traps too. So yeah, he go steal that one. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want little. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, we don't I want those. Hey, the nursery. The nursery. Send them back. How many fish fit in a bucket, a five gallon bucket, when they're this size? This, I don't know. I mean, these little chips, probably 40, 30, 40. Yeah. I like you guys' live scope setups. I, I like this one too. Yeah, this is this, this looks like the best setup yet. Who makes that arm? Uh, Summit. Oh, Summit makes that arm? S Summit, it's for a boat mount. Gotcha, okay. So I just built the aluminum frame underneath it. Mm -hmm. And it all, when I pull the lid off, it all comes out. Everything comes out. Yeah, that's pretty brilliant. I like that. Just just made it a week ago. And what are you putting in this thing on the side? I just, Rods just for or? a fish basket. So oh, I fish could, basket. If I wasn't carrying a bucket, so I could, if I was hole hopping, then I can get four or five fish and just throw them in there. You like the amber screen? It's just what I'm used to. Yeah. It's what I run on my boat too. So yeah. when you're Oh here we go. Here we go. Oh big zipped him. Hold it, he'll come maybe. He will come back. That's the funny thing. You get three shots at every fish here. Compliment to Frank. Oh nice. Wayne, how you doing? Good, good. Keep part of this one. You got a brand new one. What do you got? Nice, it's already okay. on a thousand. It's already on no. a thousand. We got a fish counter. Oh, there's a Wait, it was not on a thousand, it was on one. Thank you, Wayne. That's great. Okay. I'm just going to put this Those in the back here. Oh, he's got a little bit better fish coming in here. Oh, yeah. That, that was a smaller yeah, one. Yeah, that was the smaller one, yeah. too, for sure. He's in full combat mode, though. Oh, yeah. He's ready to find me for sure. Oh, you ain't got a live scope. No, no. How, can, how do you a... catch fish? <laughs> oh, yeah, I gotta. What do you think of this main fishing? I love it. A little better than Pennsylvania? I love it, yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> Man, I ain't seen a, a Vexilar in years. I didn't know they still made those things. <laughs> I'm behind the time. Yeah. It wasn't a better one, was it? Pretty decent slabs here. Yeah. Guys, they're, they're, these slabs are all like eater size. They're 12 inch or less. It's hard to get one over 12 inches in here. We're gonna, the guys are, they can't hurt it. These guys can fill five buckets each and not hurt this school. And maybe even get these fish a little bit bigger in the future if there's a little less competition for them. But there's a billion fish in here with a B over 10 inches. They were catching nice golden shiners over there. Golden shiners. Yeah, we might have to go over and whack wow. a few. Six nine inches. Really good ones. Wow. We might have to go get some of them. There, it was out huge the odds. What Just made, the crappies huh? were laying. What time did you get in here? Daylight. Yeah, we forgot the oil. We're gonna have a fish fry today, so oh. we forgot the oil. So we had to run home. We're half an hour from home. Oh. Fish weren't biting in the dark anyways. There's a couple good ones coming. Ready. <laughs> Tag a buddy who can't catch one in the school. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that school. Well, you just gotta get the right one to come in. Yeah. Yeah, little one's coming. Yeah, I'm telling you, buddy, I, I don't use any meat ever. You don't? No. You just don't don't have to. But they they reject it more than they take it. Really? Oh, oh white perch. Oh, great. Meat. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll <keep off> <laughs> There you go. Wow, oh, that's, a good a, one. Oh. that's a better one right there. Yeah. Better for here, for sure. Yeah, getting slabby. He goes all the way across the bucket lid. Yeah, take it. Twelve and a half. He's quiet over here. I didn't know if he's got all the big ones or what. No. I think this one would be decent. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, nice white perch. There's a couple chunkers in there. Yeah. Not so. Uh, not so chunky yellow. How you like your live scope? I love it. Hard to believe we fished without them, isn't oh, it? I know. 
Hard to believe we fished without electronics. <laughs> I don't know if you're old enough to, to have done that. I did. Well, I was poor enough to not have it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I'm going to go check my flags and leave these guys to it. They're beating away pretty good on them. Go. So if you see the reel off the trip, yeah. then there's something there. It was going straight down. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, it's good, babe. Yeah. I'll see if I... I want that marine to pull Yeah, go look at it. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's a fish on there. He's way off the side. He's little. You'll, you could take him. Get warmed up. You ready? He said he's little. Yeah, he's a little one. Okay. Uh, you feel You got steel on that, so you can go hard. Is he there? Feel free to go hard at him. I don't know. I don't think he's there. You might have to catch up. We took quite a bit of line. Was he going? Really? Yeah. Took a lot of line. Maybe he'll come back. Don't feel like there's anything there. No. Oh, there he is. There he is? You might there have to is. hit him again. There he is. Oh, you got him now? Yeah. Any size? Jeff, just watch out for that camera, all right, buddy? Yeah. All right. Some decent size there. Piece it's your side. rubber band. All right, so you're at the bottom mark. You've got about 35 feet to go. And like I said, you got steel, so you can horse them. But if it's if it's real big, give him a... <laughs> now, let me pull it this way, Joe. Yeah, fish. Nice fish. All right. Oh, just keep out of that line. Yeah, there you go. Beautiful, good job. Nice. Hold that baby up for the camera and tell the folks at home. <laughs> Thanks, Joe Holland. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> See this? Yeah, well, is that what you're using That's for what a I'll spreader? Use. I'll, I'll come by myself. Yeah. I'll put the spreaders in there and I'll get it open and I'll work this you down in do there. Then I can hold up on the line while I come up through the gills. Oh, that's awesome. I can't wait to see that. Because the bigger ones won't bite, you know, can't go on kids. Oh, I cannot wait to see that work. That sounds awesome. Yeah. Well, that man is a U.S. Marine that caught that fish. And my brothers, my older brothers are U.S. Marines, so... I'm going to see if he'll pull every one of my traps today. I'd love to see him catch a giant fish on, on one of my jack traps. Somebody's got to catch a good one today. You're kind of crowding me, ain't you, fella? Huh? You're kind of <laughs> crowding me. <laughs> we got to go catch some of them. Dude. We're going to go look here shortly, too. If we really get into it, we'll call you guys over. That's the look shiners that. they're catching. Slob Jim. <laughs> I'll give, I'd catch a fight. You guys huh? eating that shiner? I'll give, yeah. I'll give 100 bucks. Joe, look at his tail. Yeah. Those are, those came from those the stocking. Yep. Tanks. <laughs> tank scrubber. <laughs> tank scrubber. Oh, it's a tank scrubber golden. So you guys don't come to Maine for our stock brook trout and salmon? You know what? That's tomorrow. <laughs> That's tomorrow. <laughs> Unbelievable. See, guys, this is where the future is in Maine, whether you like it or not. Fish, it's It's for, oh, there's another. Is that a shiner there? Oh my gosh, don't waste that. <laughs> Jeez. What are you going to do? You don't... Look but this is, these guys are coming here spending their hard earned dollars, spending it in the state it's of Maine. Like and this is what they're coming for. They're coming for our pan fish, our absolute it's junk like fish. What are you talking about? <laughs> our absolute junk fish, that according junk. to the state of Maine. And, and this is what the guys are spending their money on. They're not coming to try to catch tanks. Look scrubbers. at these gold. Look at that gold. Yep, that's pure gold. But well, we're going to have one heck of a fish fry today. <laughs> I yeah, bet you but, but that's what you guys come for, right? I mean, once the state of Maine starts realizing it, that that's that's what it's after. That's what it's all about, right there, guys. Is we got guys out here pike fishing, we got guys out here crappy fishing, and that's it. Yeah. Damn, that is a lot of line that going on. Wow, that thing just went up. Wow! Yeah, that's Give me a good pull, good Dan. One. Yeah, it's gonna be a good one. You gaining on the strain? Yeah, he, it was a good hook set. Nice. Been fighting it quite a while. Yeah, and that didn't go up that long. Usually fish don't pull out that much line that quick. Dan, you ever caught a pike through the ice? Never. I'm really excited to see my first one come up through. <laughs> that's a lot of line. Yeah, probably a little racer, Joe, is what we got. We usually a little get... six. I see fighting back? Ooh, that's got some weight to it. Don't let it 
Cut, yeah, you ground it in the ice. Oh, that's a good size one, Joe. I just felt them. Good one. The owe a 10. Another flag right here. Really? Yep. Go oh my gosh. This Could be the same fish. It's, it's the same, same fish. fish. Remember, remember yeah, what yeah, happened yeah. Thursday, dude? <laughs> we got three flags up right now, guys. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We're going to get a look at them. Is it a pickerel? This might I'm be a pickerel. I'm done reeling. All right, you're good. Just leave it there. He's got plenty. Just leave it so that I can. I'm, I'm just bringing it away. It's Is it on table. the ice? Uh oh, it's gone. No, he's still there. He's relaxed. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, he's a that's good a, one. Get him up, get him up. That's a big one. There you go, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I tell you, over ten. We got that. Hey, yo. Oh, go. How are you, too? Oh, oh, it's 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 yeah. Ah, that, yeah, counts pull back. that counts yeah. as a combo. <laughs> double. Hey, that's that's you don't see that too often right that's there. We caught him. Fish. Hey, double, double catch. I so, hey, Joe, how good am I on what just, I just touched the line I told you was over ten, didn't I? no chance. Yeah, he didn't. He was done. I got a catch bag right here. I'll get you. So we gotta find out which one he actually got <laughs> it. Or not. He's got both in there. He both, both? both, Joe. As unbelievable. I've never seen him I've eat both. I've never seen him eat both. <laughs> it get hooked by Mike, both. Mike, you get half that fish. Yeah. So you each caught a five pounder. <laughs> Look at this, Joe. I just want to show you. Look down there. Yeah. Hook, hook up here. Hook set. That's how reboot does it. Double hook. <laughs> this guy had no chance. This guy. I mean, he was past that. He was moving to the back where all the frenzy of the... 11.15. 11.15, oh, so almost 12. 12. There you go. Nice, let's get a picture. God, you, you look ugly. Yeah. You know, see what happens is, is you can't make the fish look good when someone's holding that up. I know, I know, Dan. What are you going to do? It's a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Three mustache rides. <laughs> all right. See you later, big gator. Later. Well, give him, you let him give him, breathe a little bit. Pull him up so we can see him. Oh, wait, I gotta... There it goes. You blew our release, Joe. What are you gonna do? Uh, this is what happens, well, man. Well, we got another chance. We got a flag up out there. <laughs> Let's go get that one. What? Nickel. All right, all right. The counter. Yeah, that's the, probably the biggest one he's ever caught, right? biggest one he ever caught in his life. Wow. I hate both of you. <laughs> <laughs> Put them over your knee, Dan. I like joke, you days. pull up, I go, yeah, no fish there, straight down. He goes over there, he's checking it. Uh, there, there's a fish there, there's <laughs> a fish yeah, yeah. there. Dan, you got the tools? Oh yeah. Exactly. Then he gives me, it to me and says, oh, this Let me fun. tell you about the story of the legend Jim Bowie, the river monster. Late, late in the year, it was nice out, beautiful. Days starting to get longer, sun's up. Flag goes off way down there in the corner. He's closer to shore than he usually ever is. So I'm like, what's he up to? Well, the flag goes up, me and him start cruising over there. And I see Jim, I, I get off the sled and I look over and his line's just going like this. There's water boiling up over the hole. I'm like, oh. Jim, Jim's like, yeah, whatever. I'm like, no, get over here, get over here. Jim comes flying over and he goes, Oh my gosh, he rips the trap up, hands it to me, and he just starts going. And I'm like, he's like, oh my word. He's, I've never seen Jim like freeze before. Like Jim just locked up. And I'm like, Jim, what's wrong? He's like, he's frozen. He's like, I'm on bottom. I'm like, there's no way you're on bottom. That reel is just smoking. He's like, Dan, I'm on bottom. And he's just frozen. And I'm like, literally I had to go, Jim, wake up. Get your head in the game. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so he's like, Dan, I don't know. He came out, he kind of snapped out of me. He's playing with it. It does look like it's hung up on bottom. And then he just starts getting to come. It starts to come. It's starting to come, you know? And I'm like, well, is he there? No. Oh, he's like, I'm no, pulling, no, Jim. no. I'm pulling and you can feel the line just, just stretching on something. I'm like, that's a monster, oh, yeah, Jim. Jim's like, bottom. Jim's like, I got a tree. I'm like, no, just you can't act oh, that way. God. He's bringing it in. Another flag? Yeah, it's running now is another, what he's saying. No, another flag. Oh, here. really? How he's bringing it in, Joe. And all of a sudden, snap, it just like comes over. He ties the worst knots I've ever seen in oh, my life. Granny or double no, granny? No, he... It wasn't a knot that came unhooked, what it was, was it? a swivel. Oh, who told you not to use those kind of swivel a thousand times? <laughs> Jeff, is he running? <laughs> We're just slow rolling for oh, a yeah. decent amount. Oh yeah. He's a mile. There he goes. There he's he in, goes. Oh yeah, he's in a different county, Dan. Oh, that's a good fish too. Feels decent. Well, now he feels like a little scrubby. Coming at you. 
I'd help you, but I got a video. Oh, sorry. You burning in? Burned in already. Oh, wow. He didn't fight right off the get-go. Usually with these pike, the big ones, they fight right off the start when you hook yeah. them. They first feel the hook. This feels like a six, seven pounder. You keep weighing them as you're reeling them in. Ah, he got, he got a little heavier on the, he got a little heavier there. I like how you're laying the line out. He's doing a good job, guys. He said he got a little heavier. We'll he got see. a little heavier. Yeah, he burnt in a little more. Ah, uh, he he might he might push eight. He's getting bigger, guys. He went from six to eight. Oh, oh. He's acting like a fat log right now. That's your bottom marker, right? Yeah, it's 18 feet away. He's looking he like. Feels like he's hooked weird. He's four pounds now. Ah, uh, he's got a oh, little. Oh, we got another flag up right there. Wait, right next to us? No, nope, further down to the right. Yeah, he's acting a little bit bigger now, guys. Oh yeah. Huh? Well, there's my bait, but I don't see. I don't see him. Uh oh. He's Whoa! Not bad. Yeah, he's nice not one. Bad. Nice one. He's not a he's bad. He's no shrimp. He knows he's no little guy. Yeah, when, that ain't no hammer handle. When he when he pulsates the water in the hole, he's yeah. always a pretty good one. I'll mess with him for a little bit to get Joe get some footage of him coming Paul across. It's Bunyan's hammer handle. <sighs> Look, there he is. Oh, oh yeah. he didn't he didn't flash a second. Don't no, get right back here and show Joe. You got Steve. Oh, there he is. Look nice. at him. Oh yeah. That that's was a good one. That's over eight, isn't it? That's uh, right around eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna say nine. He's gonna maybe. be pushing double digits. Yeah, I'm gonna go. He's short. Good fish, though. He's I'm not 32 gonna, inches. Exactly. I'm not gonna mess with him anymore. We wore him out. We get him up. There you go. Nice. Yeah, he's he's eight, seven, yeah. eight. Yeah, right in that range. You got cat stuff? Yeah, I got it over here. Okay. Beginner. Oh yeah. <laughs> Beginner. You got a sight. Look at that, Joe. Yeah. That's a sword. Oh, look I caught that. that same fish. Did you really? I him last like two, three days ago. No way. No, look at no it. lie. You ripped his jaw off. No, no, Joe. I, caught, I caught him. <laughs> I'm not even lying. That's look the same that. exact fish I caught. Look at that thing. He's like he's a zombie, yeah, Mike. I caught that same fish. That's pretty cool. I'll show you on video. Well, hey. Brother. You brought that fish in. Well, Danny caught the same fish I caught three days ago. What'd you, how'd you do, Dave? How'd you do? Nothing, yes. Dave, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, what? What you got, buddy? I'd say he's about 14, 15, maybe. You seen him? I, oh, yeah. I, I could have brought him in, but I was here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Oh, nice. Nice 12. Nice fish, though. Yeah, he might Belt heavy, right? Look he's good. Going 12. What do you think? I think he's 10. 10? Joe says 10. What do you say, Jim? 9.9. .9. Yeah, I give him 9. <laughs> <laughs> you, guys, you guys are ridiculous. Why, what do you say? He felt, I said 12. Well, I'm saying 12. I'm going to go over 10. 10. I'm saying 12. Jim, what are you saying? Oh, he's got his egg. Hey, he's got his new scale. Throw that thing in the trash. Yeah, he's got his, he's got his spring scale. Ten. So that's Ten. eight. 10. That's nine. Yeah, let me see. Keep him up. Okay, got it. Eight point six. Ah! Eight, eight point nine. Gosh, that's a. He's that's, nine pounds. Nine pounds. That's the worst I've ever been off in a while. Yeah, that's. I gotta get. I gotta nine get pounds. The it. You ever notice that, Joe? What's that? Guys like him, brand new noobs. They get up. They come down here and fish with us. And they, it's almost like they wake up and they go right to karate class and tell Bruce Lee how to kick. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens. He comes down here and he's <laughs> You just wake up and be like, I'm going to go find every expert I know and tell him how to do stuff. Dad, listen. That's what listen. you do. Listen. You got a lot to learn, son. You got to get better at parenting. <laughs> <laughs> then I went in the service. I never learned how to uh, continue on ice fishing. So then Danny finally took on his responsibility last year. No, actually I picked it up on my own and then after the winter time rolled around, I met Dan and went smelting with him. Um, and I realized that he was my son. Yeah. It was, we we thought about getting a DNA test, but we decided that it didn't matter. We just knew, I just know yeah. he's my son. Well, it's uncanny. <laughs> you give him a pair of glasses, you couldn't tell you two apart. <laughs>
I'm not kidding, Joe. Barbecue, reboot barbecue. Someone comes up to me and goes, hey, is that guy over there your brother? And I'm like, which guy? Your flag's goes, back up. I know, shit. I see it. I, I've already seen it. See you. Try to tell Bruce Lee how to kick again. Listen, I'm cooking. <laughs> anyway. You know what? That's fine. So I see, so I go, what guy? What guy are you talking about? This guy goes, you got to come here. They brought him over to me. And they're like, I'm like, who the hell are you? <laughs> like, he's like, I'm Mike Black. I'm like, dude, you kind of look like me. <laughs> you, you knew me prior. What we got here is courtesy of Steve Moore from Whitetail Burger. We pulled it out for the veterans. Nice. We tried to use uh, a lot of the venison that we harvest to give to the vets and stuff like that. And this is some nice venison burger. Boy, that plane is. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Get a lunch from over here, then I'll yeah, go around go the over there and get one. Yeah. Like I have two. I'm gonna go in there and be like, I'm not, I'm not we didn't have much. Yeah, we didn't have enough. <sighs> oh, look at that. Bacon burger. Yeah. Are your hands clean, Mike? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look at that, fellas. Bacon cheeseburger made out of deer meat. Deer meat? <laughs> deer meat. So, Danny, since, yeah. since the last time we shot, a year ago, I got a bunch of new viewers. So, a lot of guys know you, but a lot of guys don't know you or the organization. Right. Before you jam that burger in there, you've got a quick minute to tell us about Reboot? Yeah. So, Operation Reboot Outdoors, I, I founded it to get my brothers and sisters who've been through traumatic experiences through war, uh, through serving our community, uh, just being good people and doing some things that a lot of people don't do and they well, go through and the plate. we bring them out hunting and fishing across the state of Maine. We also got a new mobile team that goes across the country and does some hunts and Reboot just keeps growing and growing. You know, our our support keeps growing, our veterans followers and our, it just creates this big group of camaraderie and, and brothers and sisters and uh, yeah. creates these networks and all these guys just start fishing together. But the idea is to pull them out of their house and get them in the right state of mind to uh, Danny, find true north again. And uh, yeah, see, I'm getting called to duty while I'm talking. Thanks, <laughs> thanks, son. So what do you gotta do to to get on the ice or in the woods with Reboot? Um, how, 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 what's the best way to get a hold best of you? Way, best way is our, our website is www.operationrebootoutdoors.org and up in the upper right hand corner, there's a tab, click on it, and then go to missions. There's a whole list of what we do. And we do everything that Maine has to offer. And if it's up, that's going on. You can sign up for it. It is an application process. You had to sign up due to people backing out so much. We yep. need to have them have a little bit of skin in the game. So we know they're showing up like today. Four, four vets bailed on us last night at eight o'clock. Mm -hmm. So now I had to scrape the bottom of the barrel and get Mike and the Dave over there, all the way from Massachusetts, <laughs> come down and <laughs> the bottom. Yeah. yeah, might have been under the barrel, <laughs> below yeah. the bottom. And so we're getting these guys out there. They're fairly new to fishing, but they know everything. It's weird, <laughs> <laughs> a little weird, but um, yeah, we just have a good time. And Once at again, the end of the day, we go home tired. <laughs> And he always interrupts me. <laughs> <laughs> so so I've, I've been fortunate enough over the years to get to fish with Reboot every single year. Well, and the I've been around a lot of organizations and this one is grassroots. It's home. It's a home born organization that I fully, fully stand behind. So good time. Yep. Jim's been with them a long time too. And if, if you guys are looking for an organization to support, they do take donations. They, they're uh, they're a nonprofit. Or if you have some expertise, you know, like, like, like Mike over here, you know, if you're an expert in something. He's fished four times. He knows everything about fishing. Yeah. But if you are an expert in something. <laughs> well, that's how the kids are these days. <laughs> they offer everything from, geez. My biological dad abandoned me. He, uh, he decided to come be a parent at the age of 31. <laughs> <laughs> so, so they do everything from rabbit hunting to gold digging to moose hunts, deer hunts, bear hunts, turkey hunts. They'll hunt anything that's got a heartbeat, I think. And fishing, they do everything from spring trolling to deep deep water fishing to pike fishing in the winter and rainbow trout fishing in the winter. And they have a couple derbies, so check them out for sure, guys. I, I put my stamp of approval as big as you can get on these guys. They're the best of the best, and I've seen a lot of the good work that they do you know, in the community and for veterans and law enforcement officers. So if you're a veteran, law enforcement officer and you want to get rebooted and back into the wild uh there's no better group of guys to 
to do it with than these guys, so it's easy to sign up. Yep, and reboot out. We're gonna catch a pike. Yes. Any size, Mike? Be all right. It's pulling good. Danny, get the scale. Really? Oh my God! Four pounds. Uh. No. Two. Oh wow! You're the king of the digs, bud. <laughs> king of the digs. Same size as the one you caught earlier. 18, 13. Wow. That's the Eight. smallest pike I've ever seen come out of here. I didn't know they grew them that small. No, I know. That's, what are you, in the nursery? Relax. Thanks, Dad. What do I do without you? <laughs> yeah. problem, son. You want a picture? No. Yeah, he needs a picture. Get a here, picture. Here, get it with Dad. We can see how big the fish are. <laughs> <laughs> that reel and drag you have on there, you yep. need to keep those loose. I know. Because a big fish is going to hammer that, and it's going to tighten up on itself, and it's going to, you're not going to catch it. But you, I, but let me, let me guess, you teach Bruce Lee his combos and his roundhouse well, kicks. Well, I, no, I asked you this morning to double check you're my like, hey, me. hey, Bruce Lee, guess what? You're doing that combo wrong. I said, Dad, you want to go run around, check these with me, make sure all my drags are so good? So wait, wait a second. I've been doing this for how long? Do you tell me what I should be doing right now? Dad, how many do you... feet do I got to go off out the bottom? That's Two. what I thought. Two. Two. According to Jim. <laughs> Son, why did you disappoint me and join the Marines and not the Army? Because <laughs> I was better than you. <laughs> <laughs> you guys had a hell of a loose season, didn't you? 16 out of 17. 16 out of 17. What happened on the 17th? The guy... Uh, Dan was... shot. No. <laughs> <laughs> they trade they trade beer burgers for, yeah, for well, fish. We didn't even get much fish. They better come back. Oh, we'll be back. Here's a... Have you tried these? I'll trade you one. Flame. Do you guys want... The more I eat hot. No, take them both. You sure? Yeah, yeah. Now I remember chasing that. Oh, yeah, yeah. You see the lot when we kids white fish and macaroni and cheese. <laughs> white fish? I mean, uh, white perch and you know. This one's good. The fried up I white like perch and mac and cheese. cheese. Yeah, that's the best one. Maybe we'll do a bite coat venison in this stuff and like just Whoa. you know shallow bath fry it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Chicken fried venison. Yeah, that's hey. good. What? We got all three kits. Uh, that one we no, thought was not. a little too lemony, so we're mixing it with what the you original know, or something. Really? Eat them up. Oh, thank eat, you. Them, eat them up. I told those guys to screw around and I left them behind. Why do people go home? Hey, you want ketchup? On your burger? Yeah, That's yeah, friggin' good. Yeah, that is really good. Wow, is that good. Yeah. <laughs> like, I was gonna... I was gonna stay over there. Yeah. <laughs> but you were tasting it still. And I was like, I gotta go get some more of that. You just ate three burgers, too. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> that's, how, that's how good this fish is. <laughs> well, we run out, I know where we can get more. <laughs> <laughs> One thing about these guys from Vermont is they know how to eat. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> they, they know how to fish, and they know how to eat. <laughs> Wait, can you tell by the size of us, sir? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are honorary Mainers. <laughs> up between rocks what's going on yeah it feels like it, it was big too it was running yeah oh yeah i've real i reeled i mean it's pretty close it was, in, it was out pretty well good. is he a leader yeah he's no he's the bobber i know so let's see. the leader's right below though okay so you so yeah you're on Ooh. Something, bro. Oh, wait, that's a fish, man. Oh, hold on, it's not no, a fish. No, I can see it. It's a fish, dude. It's a branch. I can see the branch. Oh, the fish is right there, isn't it? Oh, let me, I'll get the branch. Hey, hold on, hold on. There's a big fish, too. Nah, no, it's not that big. I'll take my switch off, I'll get the branch. Get the branch, there's a fish attached to it. Hurry up! I'm going. Pick up your sleeve. You get more of it? I'm working on it. Fish. Oh, oh Jesus! I told you that Holy was a big Dan! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! That's an 18, buddy! Oh my gosh, Joe! You just missed the monster! Yeah, buddy! Reboot! <laughs> Joe, we got probably that's going 18. That's easily over 40. Joe! I'll go get him. Yeah, buddy! Look how rap this is. <laughs> 
Pull the first off. Good Grab one, buddy. Fish. Good one. Let's go! Big Ed! I, 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 was helping, I was helping him. I was helping him getting it, you know, getting it going, and we couldn't get it up. What the hell is this? That came with the fish. Why? Because it was on the bottom. He must have thought he had a freaking state record. Yeah, like, dude. Because we we're like, Dan's like, you're stuck between rocks, and we're like, no, there's a stick. It's just not moving. Monster. Look at the size of that thing. A monster. Oh boy. Okay, bring it up some. Bring it up one more time if you can. Oh, oh, oh you guys have had enough of that. Hey, what a fish. <laughs> so tell me what happened. Congratulations, you buddy. Got, you got a stick with it? Yeah, that giant stick came up. It was, uh, yeah, was we were fighting it and uh, pulled it up and then it just oh, stopped to the hole and then we figured out that there was a stick across the hole and then that entire branch came out with it too. Mike, uh, Mike goes, Dad, we're stuck on the bottom. And I'm like, no, you're not. We I go over there. Hold on, I go over there. Son, don't interrupt your father when he's speaking. <laughs> he has no uh, so I get over there and I grab it. I'm like, you're caught on a stick, not bottom. I can see the branch right there. And he goes, oh, I can. And I'm like, I can see the fish. It's stuck to the branch. Mike goes, let me stretch down, grabs this, breaks this. Oh the fish God. comes up with the stick. And I'm like, oh my word, that's a pig. That is a pig. That's a good fish. But that's a pig. All right, I'm going to prank Mike. We're gonna put something on the end of his line. That ought to do it. How about a crappy and a perch? Yeah, it's fish there. No, there's not. No, there's not. Oh. Fish, fish. How's he feel? How's he feel, big? Dink. Dink? Oh, it's dink. dink. Oh, it's just a dink. Thank you. Whoa, oh, what's <laughs> that? All right. Nice one. <laughs> Wow, you got two at once. Wow, buddy, that's great. <laughs> hey, you know, that's illegal. Oh, that's you got illegal. that on you camera. Just did. <laughs> that's a fun <founder> reboot. <laughs> that's a hey, that's going away. <laughs> he was so mad. <laughs> he didn't even laugh. I hate all of you. <laughs> Water is. Yeah. We just lifted that up this high. Two Neanderthals. Son, you are my son with that strength. <laughs> Mom didn't raise no How's this thing do on the trail? Pretty good? No. Huh? Oh, his thing or this? This Ranger. Oh, it does awesome. Yeah. I mean, my other Ranger's probably done, I don't know, over 100 trips down here. Yeah. By 2014. This one's obviously we've run only three years. So it's probably at maybe, I don't know, quite a bit of trips. Mike Rowe, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, this is one from Mike Rowe he donated. No way. Return in the favor. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, he saw what we were doing that we we're, you know, we had taken out a pile of vets right from our basement of our house. And um, they may, maybe tend they're doing a documentary on Reboot Me. And they surprised me at my house with, and Nicole rolled up in this. No way. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I'll see if I can find the footage of that and put it yeah. on this video. Yeah, it's that it's pretty badass. Did, what, did he show up too? No, it was COVID, so he did oh, it on Zoom. Yeah. I wish oh, I, I remember that now, yeah. I wish I would have got him to meet him. Yeah. Maybe someday. He's a pretty cool yeah, guy. He's a pretty cool guy. Well the stuff he does is awesome. Yeah, he does a lot he does a lot of good things for a lot of people. Yeah.
Yeah. Of course, yeah. Yes, I. Yeah, norm normally if I'm just alone, I bring a smaller one, but I brought so much gear and stuff this trip. Yeah. Well, that's See, gonna do it. For, good job. With that's gonna do. <laughs> that's gonna do it for these guys. These guys are taking off. Thanks a, a million for letting me fish with you guys and. You guys at home, check out Reboot Outdoors. If uh, if you want to make a donation to them or help them anyway, check them out on the website. Uh, I think he's accepting some jack traps too. If anybody wants to send a set of jack traps or jack traps his way, they could put them to use for the veterans. So so that help out quite a few people. But otherwise, great organization. Check them out and great group of guys as always. For I heard for every tight. I heard for every set he gets donated. Joe is donating a set. <laughs> yeah, that could be that could be yeah, right. Oh my god, that could be right. That's messed up. Hey Joe, great fishing with you, buddy. As always. Until next time. Danny's the best, guys. <laughs> what's gonna happen now? Danny and the son. Danny. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. Thanks, Joe. Take take your boy to the woodshed, will I you? I'm gonna beat him all the way over. Yeah. Joe. Well, that was a blast. I'm gonna miss those guys as always. Phenomenal, phenomenal guys to fish with. A lot of fun at all times. I'm gonna fish for another hour or so. I got oh a good half hour of daylight. I might fish it in the dark. We got some snow nados happening down there. Snow tornadoes kicking up. She's gonna be probably a rough night, probably be pretty windy out here and supposed to be really cold tonight. I think the coldest night of the week is happening tonight. So Alright, fishing's done for the day. Had a great day on the hard water. I didn't put much topside. I had one little tiny hammer handle pike and I jigged up a couple fish here and there just to show the boys where they were and that I could still catch them. But for the most part, pretty easy day for me. I really got to enjoy the company. Sometimes that's what it's all about. It's not about what you put topside and how big the fish you catch. It's just enjoying your friend's company and meeting new people and, and uh, learning about people and places. And I got to learn a bunch from them Vermont boys. They were good boys. I really, really appreciated learning from them. And I haven't met anybody from Vermont that I don't like. So... So pretty good in that department. And uh, of course with Reboot, awesome guys as always. A lot of fun to fish with. And just really enjoy Dan and Mike and, and all the guys. So, and Jim. But it's supper time, dinner time. And this is uh, gonna be an easy one tonight. I'm going grilled cheese on rosemary bread. And what goes best with that? Tomato soup. So we're gonna have some mater soup and grilled cheese and and uh, super easy, easy to make, easy if you're camping, easy at home, and sure it hits the spot and pretty darn good too. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna drive that into me. I'm gonna dunk the sandwich into the soup probably for part of it. I like doing that sometimes. It softens up the the bread a little bit after making it crispy, and kind of reflect on the day and make a plan for tomorrow and a plan for the rest of this trip. I I think I'm gonna fish tomorrow here. And either take off tomorrow afternoon into the night or take off uh, the next following morning. I got to try to get a hold of Donnie and see what he wants to do because I think we're heading up north to, to camp for a few days and I want to make sure he's good to go for that. So that's the plan. And right now we're going to eat some dinner. Supper. What do you guys call it? Supper or dinner? I, I've asked that question once before. But that grilled cheese is definitely grilled. Looking good. I'm gonna give that a slicing with a fillet knife. Wow. She is smoking hot. But look at that, she's not burnt. She's golden. Looking beautiful. A little crispy on the outside. Soft cheesy on the inside. Just like I like my French fries or potatoes. <laughs> I ain't got much of a spoon for this trip. It's just a little tiny one, so you can't really shovel that anything into you with a spoon that small. Uh, we'll make do. Next trip I'll have a bigger spoon, I promise you that. Then we could shovel some soup right into us. Wow, that's hot. Good, good hot meal on a, after a you know, pretty chilly day of fishing. We stayed out of the wind for the most part. And, uh, whoo, she's hot. We're down into the teens. We got 11 teen degrees right now. 
she's been dropping pretty steady. I think we're going to have a good cold night tonight. Uh, pretty strong northwest north wind tomorrow. Then eventually it does switch over to a west wind and then a southwest wind. So usually a south wind blows warm and you don't have to worry too much about that. But that north northeast wind usually is pretty cold and could blow some storms in. So we'll keep an eye on the weather. Keep an eye on wind direction. I'm, I'm pretty well sheltered from the north, northwest wind. Any south or east wind, I'd be eating quite a bit of that. But most of the time in the winter, it's going to blow out of the northwest. So it's a good idea when you guys are, if you guys are going on a camping trip, before you set up, you know, kind of do your best to learn the weather ahead of time and go with that. Make preparations and plans and set up to avoid the worst of the weather. And that'll make a better trip for you in the long run. It's pretty chilly in here. It's 41 degrees even after cooking. So that cooled down. The soup soup might take a minute to cool down, but the sandwich cooled down pretty quick. Mm -hmm. Had heck of a lunch today. Normally I either skip lunch or just make something quick. Reboot was here and cooked up some venison bacon burgers that were fantastic. Then I snuck over to the other group and had some fried fish, some crappie and perch, and just absolutely amazing fish. They cooked it in in the kitchen cook, and we were trying the, the new lime one. And it was good, but it was a little too limey for a lot of us. And I just so happened to have a couple bags of fire and a couple bags of, of crispy from catch and cook. I brought those over to the boys and, and we cooked it up. And they, they cooked it right up in the oil there. And boy, was it delicious. It was cooked to perfection. And Danny tried crappy for the first time and he really enjoyed it too. So these crappy might be in trouble in the future. This is just American cheese in this grilled cheese sandwich, and it's pretty bland. It ain't much. I do like my cheeses. I like Swiss. I like cheddar. Gouda. Smoked Gouda is real good, too. I haven't had any good cheese in a long time, I just realized. I'm going to see if I can find that stuff I got last year. That was the maple cheese. That was some good. That was made in Maine. But... What do you guys like for cheese in your grilled cheese sandwich? What's the best cheese to put in a grilled cheese sandwich? Leave that in the comments too. And usually I like a rye bread, but that rosemary bread's awful good too from Borealis bread in Waldeboro. Well, that's going to do it for tonight, guys. Had an awesome, awesome evening. And, uh... Yeah, really appreciate all the support. Stay tuned for tomorrow. Probably going to wake up pretty cold. I think I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit more tonight than normal and see if it actually works out in here and can heat up this 850. I don't know. We'll see. But thanks again for tuning in, guys. Really appreciate all the support. <laughs>